Hi, everybody. Welcome. I'm very Hello. excited about this one. We have a presentation for you for Indonesia. Uh, we have three different resorts that we're sharing with you. There's two resorts with Murex that have different parts of um, different types of diving, and then also Lembe Resort. So you are going to be introduced to two, okay. three yeah. different areas of Indonesia with each one with spectacular diving. So we have Danny and Julia with you, and we are going to pass it over to them. Hello, everybody. It's morning where we are. I'm Danny. Obviously, there's Julia. You could see us, I presume. Um, our our uh, presentation's up on the screen there. Does everybody see it? We're they can. Yes. Yeah, they can, right. Danny. We can see it. We can hear you. So I know it's hard without seeing everyone. No, it's okay. Uh, Passport to Paradise. Uh, just a real quick uh, note on this. So, Murex Resort was the first uh, first dive resort in North Sulawesi here. North Sulawesi is located <coughs> above Bali. Um, then in 2002, uh, we started Murex Banca as well as Lembe Resort. And uh, 2013, we tied them all together uh, the, and we're calling it the Passport to Paradise. You might see this ad on uh, in uh, Alert Diver. So, uh, three different types of diving and we're gonna get into it right now. So, uh, how to get here. So there you see Singapore right there above, um, above Jakarta and, and, and Bali. There you can get into Singapore on Singapore Airlines, United, various other airlines, and then a Scut. Uh, used to be Silk Air, but now it's a Scut uh, carrier, which is a sister carrier to Singapore Airlines. Um, or you could fly into Jakarta, there's a brand new terminal, Terminal 3, or Bali, and there's direct flights every day uh, up from Bali to Minato in reverse, Jakarta <coughs> to Minato in reverse. The Singapore flight is four times a week. Okay, and we're gonna... So that's just a little intro into what we're gonna be showing you here. Um, and now you'll see the map of North Sulawesi with Bunaka, as you're looking at it, uh, Bunaka National Park on the left-hand side, Banka Island on the north side, and then Lembe Strait on the east side. And we connect each of these destinations by boat. So from one, one stop to the next, you're diving along the way and normally two dives along the way. And all your luggage will be waiting at the next location in your room for you. So Bunaka National Park, we'll start first with Murex Minato, which is on the left there. Uh, the park is about 20 years old. There's a good 50, 50 plus dive sites in the whole area along the coast and in the, in the park itself. Um, and as well as Monado, uh, Murex Monado is great access to get into town and go on land tours, or you see that Lake Tondano, do some cultural visits, and as well as uh, uh, diving as much as you want, diving as much as you want. So here's, uh, here's some shots of, uh, of, of, of the resort and around the resort here. Um, that's a boat. You're looking at that volcano out there. It's a dormant volcano, Monado Tua. There's great dives around this volcano. Um, so here's the property, a couple of rooms we have here. Uh, very tropical. There's natural water flow throughout the entire property from uh, spring feds and ponds that, that go throughout. So the sound of water is throughout the, the entire property. Indoor, indoor dining. And most of our meals actually are outside. So uh, this is, we're, most of the time we're outside uh, having meals. Okay, so let's talk about the, the dives itself. Bunakan Park is mostly walls, not all, but mostly walls. There is a wreck also in the bay. Um, so, and then there's muck diving along the, along the coast. 
And as you get further down the coast, if you look all the way down uh, to the left side, Tanjung Kalapa, Bethlehem, they're all uh, soft coral and, and, and uh, cor yeah, coral dives, coral reef dives as well. So the walls of Bunaken are fantastic. Uh, they're over a thousand, uh, a thousand feet uh, deep, believe it or not. Um, and this is what you're going to see. Um, okay. So there's, there's big animals, small animals. You see the wall on the left. You see the coastline on the right. Okay. Lots of turtles. Um, it's not uncommon. It's not uncommon for you on some of the sites to see 10 or 12 of these turtles of a couple of different species. Super fun. Uh, super used to having divers come up close. A lot of antheus and all the colorful reef fish. The, the Bunaken National Park itself actually has, has uh, just as a point of reference, has the twice the number of species of hard coral than the entire Great Barrier Reef. Uh, giant trevallies on a slope there. Um, and, and so there's other stuff to do. We've got the paddle boards, the, the stand up, the, the, the canoes, uh, snorkeling, uh, very, fa very family friendly. All property, all our properties are very fa family friendly. Kids have a great time. Of course, we got the spa. Okay. And then the land towards. This is looking down into a volcano and you're into the caldera of a volcano and you're looking across at another volcano. And if you keep looking past there, you can make out the, uh, make out the ocean there. So from, from your dive site, you come up and you could see these volcanoes. It's extremely dramatic. It's, it's really impressive. And then, of course, some other land tours with monkeys. And the top left one is actually the smallest primate uh, in the world, the, the, the tarsius, but all kinds of birds and, and things. Okay, so that's from Murex Monado. And our next stop on the Passport to Paradise is Bunakan, uh, sorry, Banka Island. So again, how this works is we leave in the morning. You, you put your luggage out on, on your porch. Uh, our guy, our folks will collect it all. They put it in a pickup and they'll send it over. If there's only a couple of four people on the boat, we do put the luggage on the boat. Uh, but we're committed to run these boat trips, even if there's just two guests on the boat. More often than not, there's six or eight people. So we, we, truck, the, uh, we truck the luggage over. Uh, you'd leave Murex Monado about 8, 8.15, 8.30. Do two dives along the way. And then you will arrive here for lunch. Okay. Uh, that stamps the wall diving. Oh, there you go. And now we're at Banca. All right. And that's just as you see it the white sandy beach right in the front there, the house reef. Um, and here we go. So, as I said, we opened in 2002. And uh, we. We've got, as of now, 19, 19 cottages there, and we're going to be expanding some more there as soon as uh, things settle down. Uh, but we're doing a lot of work out here. We've got quite a bit of land, and uh, the bay in the back is great for uh, easy diving. There's some muck diving along there, but most of the dives that you see, wherever that reef is, it's really fun. And there's a lot of current, a lot of uh, nutrient-rich waters in the area by virtue of the, the current that passes by. Um, so most of the dives, I didn't mention this for Bunakin, but most of the dives are uh, drift dives, not all, but most of the dives are drift dives also here on, on Banka, uh, drift diving. Okay, and this is what the resort looks like. This cottage is in the front. Uh, the, the beach is right there. Okay, we got a couple of different types of cottages, the traditional wood cottages and then the, the more modern cottages on the on the top left. Here's some new cottages we put in in 2018. And there's uh, bamboo. Some of this is bamboo that was all harvested on the on the property. Um, but this is what uh, what it looks like. It's uh, and we're calling these uh, hillside hillside cottages. And you can absolutely hear and see the ocean. They're really super nice. Um, yeah. Okay. 
And then here's uh, the, the restaurant right on the beach. And again, as with, um, as with Monado, most of our meals are taken uh, outside. Excuse me. Yeah. And this is, this is our normal sunset. Around Banca, there's about 30 dive sites, some pinnacles, white sandy bottoms, uh, a lot more uh, soft coral. Uh, here's something, we have these fish ID uh, uh, slates that the guides take with them on the dives. Uh, people can take them on the dives if they want. You get, of course, the, the briefing before each dive. And here's some of the diving in, in Banca. And our video later is going to show more of this. We're going to, okay. Lots of real colorful, lots of colors. Jules, it seems I missed the, I have an occasional dugong. We just got a nice one. Just before the shutdown, we had a, a really nice, uh, yeah. So before moving on, I think there's a tech, there's no sound on your side or did you hear the sound, Carrie? We, we couldn't, we could hear a little bit of, I think maybe it was coming through your speakers and we were picking up something in the room, but we didn't really hear the sound. No, we could see the video, but not the sound. Okay, because I did hit that. Um, we have another couple of videos. Um, yeah, it should be open. I didn't have, I, I'm going through a headset. So the sound you heard wasn't on, um, wasn't on my computer. Uh, darn. Okay, well, let's, let's move on. So this is the beach at Banca and some other things to do. Um, okay, snorkeling. Right, this is right on the house reef. Kids right on the house reef as well. Got the paddle boards and the, the, the kayaks. Just kicking back. Sunsets are great. Yeah. So a few years ago, we've been doing uh, different house reef projects. I started. Uh, when in Lembe in 2003 and then at, at Murex Renato, we've been playing around with this for a long time. And it's, we've had marine biologists on staff. Uh, I've had uh, expatriate marine biologists as well as locals. Um, but just over two years ago, we, we partnered with a group called Ocean Gardener. And they're based on Bali and it's a it's a terrific partnership because we have all the expertise very close by and the object the object of the ocean gardener program is to engage the villagers engage the locals into understanding more about 
the underwater habitat and actually employ them to take care of the garden. So how we, how we fund that is through guests coming and either taking a course or transplanting coral or both. And then the locals are involved in this and um, they receive an income. So there's no handouts here. It's just, it's just uh, uh, their effort pays off. So uh, Nikki, Nicole here on the left is uh, one of the partners with uh, Ocean Gardener. And so we have this farm that you see there with those trays, and then we'll transplant the coral, which is what they're doing on the bottom left. Sometimes there's been storm, da storm damage, so we'll transplant healthy coral to, to build that area up again. It's, it's working really great, and it's amazing how fast things grow. Okay. So this is the guys working, guys and gals working um, at it. And this was this was uh, one of the one of the farms at the at the beginning. And oftentimes guests want to go and they plant and you know they do a couple of things like this and it, it's really a lot of fun. They enjoy it. Okay, it's just the start of one. So, um, and that's that's the Ocean Garden. It's a, it's a really good partnership and it's something else that we can offer. Um, we're actually uh, partnering with an NGO that's going to hang their hat at our place, and um, we're looking forward to moving that, moving that, uh, moving that once things settle settle back down. Okay, so now we're on to uh, we go from Banca to Lembe, and uh, Julie is going to take it away. Jules, do you want me to work the slides? You're muted, Julia. If, if you want to unmute your mic. Oh, I'm here. Hey, Jewel. You want me? I'll just I'll just play it from here. Yes, you can play it from there. All right. Okay. Good morning, okay. everyone from Indonesia. My name is Julia, and I'm working with Danny now almost 15 years, and then I am based in Lembe. And I'm going to talk a bit of more about Lembe Resort. Right. So as you can see, this is our little paradise. And then Lembe Resort located in the Lembe Strait. And we are uh, located actually in the different island uh, part of the Bitung City. And from uh, Bangka to Lembe on the way, it only takes about 45 minutes away. And normally we do like a two dive along the way to hit Lembe and then uh, the guests will arrive from Bangka to Lembe during lunchtime. And then this is one of our luxury cottages. We have 13 cottages of uh, luxury cottages. And all, uh, all cottages face uh, the ocean and this is our one and only villa, we call a cliffside suite. We have a private swimming pool, and then um, butler service also included in these packages. And we have two uh, bathrooms, which is outdoor and indoor. As you can see, there is also the balcony next to. Um, the swimming pool, we normally set up like a dinner or a lunch if the guests wish. And this is the living room part of this uh, suite. Next. And then we have uh, 13 luxury cottages in Leme and we have four quad share room, which is um, actually fit for the friends or family who wants to um, sharing rooms. We have a separate living rooms and separate uh, bedrooms and the living rooms also with aircon uh, can be set up as a second bedroom. And this is our uh, garden view rooms, which is we have six and really nice tropical uh, garden. And then have really nice balcony. And the setup of this uh, garden view room, it's the room is more um, more smaller than the than the luxury cottages, but it's with normally with two. 
and this is our nice sunsets and we often have like a cocktail uh, dock in this area. That volcano folks is, is the largest volcano in the province that you're looking at there. It's beautiful sunsets. And then this is our restaurant. So restaurant attached with the bar. And we have a traditional Indonesian cuisine and European as well as uh, any dietary uh, requests available on this, um, this resort. And this is our bar with several uh, drinks available as well as we have a spa treatments. Next. And then uh, the setup for the boat, all the design of the world dive boats is all the same in three properties. And this is our camera room, which is next to the equipment rooms. And then in Lambert Resort, all the public area is close to each other. And then we have set up the international park in these rooms. And then also outside, we have an air gun for uh, guests to use after the dive to clean up the housing. And then this room will be have a capacity of um, 35 guests inside with the cameras. And then, as you know, we have a official backscatter authorized photo center uh, last year. And then we're proud to be part of it because we are the only one so far. And then uh, we are really keen to get um, more people to come for the uh, underwater photography course or um, rental equipments and then some uh, tip and technique from our pros, uh, in-house pros. And then this is the opening with gym and the resort last, uh, sep last year in September. And then next to gym is Danny and next to it is uh, Ray, is the owner of the resort. And the lady is the Bitung City Mayor's wife, which is, she's also that a diapers. And the three staff was Fandi, Sandro, and Dinti. They are now entitled as a photo, set, photo pro assistants, as well as they are uh, as a dive guide in-house. And then this is the inside the photo center, which is we have our classrooms. We have our rental equipments and we have also the 3D printers that we're still using it and people kind of like it because we can make a custom, uh, custom uh, flip mounts at the time. And then it's James, uh, our um, photo pro in-house, as well as the three assistants, Dimpy, Sandro, and Fandi. So Dimpy also is our uh, Marine biologist in house, which is now we have two with Agus, and then they are often teach the dive guides about underwater uh, marine life as well as the behaviors, and then they are often get a critter test every three months at one time. That is why all of our dive guides get to know all the critters' name, also the behaviors as well as uh, they do some presentations about um, critters around the, the straits. And then not only the marine biologists give the presentation, but as well the dive guides, because they are keen to learn more and more about the underwater uh, marine life. And then the top one is part of our project in our house. Okay. And then as well, uh, Dimpi is really um, like almost all the in-house guests familiar with Dimpi and Agus because they are helping uh, questions from the guests about the marine behaviors, uh, the names of the critters, and then as well as other, other questions around the marine life within Lambe Straits. Next. So as you can see in front of the in front of the resort, we have really nice uh, house trip, which is can be done anytime 
and then we have like a sandy slope area um, in this uh, house reef. And the two marine biologists as well accompanied by the dive guides often maintains this house reef, a uh, clean up, and then search for another quitters and another. And we have also some project going on. We often invited volunteers from outside uh, the country to uh, check this uh, house reef. And uh, for your information, we have about um, 3,000 something species based on marine biologist from French, uh, Patrick Louisi. And yeah, in this house reef is easy diving. We put the underwater buoy for people to enter and exit. So if you're going by your, uh, with your body as well, it's nice. And it's really nice uh, night dive in here. And then this is a very iconic uh, critters uh, in Lembe Strait, the blurring octopus, mimic octopus, wanderpus, flamboyant cuttlefish, and hairy frogfish. We have like uh, 15 different of hairy frogfish in the Straits. And yeah, it's really cool. And this is the mantis stream with eggs. This is my favorite one. And then we do also have a really nice uh, dive site in the strait to see the spatial uh, uh, fish for mandarin fish mating, which is now um, unfortunately only one dive site. So within the strait, we have a schedule per resort, so we are not making crowded. And then diving in Lambeth Strait now, we have official um, rule from the government, which is 15 divers uh, maximum in good dive guides per dive site. And then also the fluorescent torch um, available at the dive center to rent. It's really cool, especially when you did this uh, in the house reef. And this is a, um, a short videos to get you an idea what you what you will see in the street.
that video was done by our in-house uh, marine biologist, James. Okay. Okay. So this is our, um, oh, we also have a Blackwater or Bonfire Dive available at the three locations. And all the dive guides are um, very well to do this uh, experience. We did this uh, since two years ago. And this is a couple of um, image from our photo pros in-house that took during this uh, dive. And then in Lembe itself, it's uh, really nice um, to do bonfire because we have like a sandy slope areas and then as well as backwater because we can go outside Lembe during this um, blackwater dive. And then this is a wonderful level. So this is our uh, initiative, which is officially opened in August 2018. We call it Lembe Foundation, which is we believe all who can embrace nature can define their future and can change the world. The world. So in Lembe Foundation, our mission is uh, to manage three main programs that uh, we support the villagers and our um, pilot project, we choose the next door of village, which is we have a community program with all home say mother, we teach them how to upcycling uh, plastics. And we have educa educational program with the kids, which is we, we support them and we supplies the school, uh, school staff for them every year and we manage to um, give them uh, educational about uh, how dangerous is plastics. And then we also have a fun, fun plastic programs and we build um, a trash bank for the villagers to bring their plastic stress uh, to get money. And then instead of money, they asking us to provide rice and some, um, uh, some families uh, stuff. And then every, every Sunday, the villagers often going um, uh, to clean the beach. And then this is our uh, library, which is now it's already finished the first floor. And we can, uh, we normally give the English course about, uh, and then also another trainings to the kids in this, um, in these buildings. And then it's still ongoing projects also during these um, lockdowns. So we be able to manage to make also a mask from the donations uh, by one of our guests. And then the ladies in the village, it's uh, suing them. Um, and then we'll sell it to the resort and resort will, uh, the lender resort will uh, give to our staff for free. And then this is the trash bank. And then, okay. And then, yeah, we have uh, more programs to come and you can see our Facebook, Facebook and Instagram posts about it, uh, just search Olympic, Olympic Foundations. And this is actually the first foundation in the Straits. And then this is uh, the Lembe Resort websites, which is um, now we have a lot of going on because this is um, new sites for Lembe itself. And also we'll be able to manage a um, couple of things that are very useful for the guests to see throughout the resorts. And then also Murex Dive Resorts have two, um, two websites. So murexdiveresorts.com, it's special for diving and then Passport to Paradise and um, details. And uh, murexsnorkeling.com, it's especially uh, for the snorkelers. So we built this um, website so then all the snorkelers can be um, stay and explore the passport to paradise as well. It's not only the divers. And then here's, um, here's the six minutes videos for the all three resorts. You did good. <laughs> Danny and Julia, while we're watching this video, if you want to um, turn your video off so that we cannot see you, just for now, you can you can stop video. It will actually help the video move faster, I think. 
Yes. And then you guys can come back on for Q&A. Yeah, great. Thanks. I don't know for sure, but it should help. Thank you. 
Okay. Okay. And uh, that that's that's our presentation. So we have Thanks, Danny. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, Terry, we'll have to leave it. All right, thanks, Danny. I'm sorry about that. We've got questions already and we were trying to look them up. Stephanie, we're going to get back to you because everything's a little bit uh, discombobulated right now. We were trying to find you uh, a, an answer for your what's the average airfare in December. But um, we're going to have to wait on that a little bit and we'll figure it out for you there. Um, in the meantime, sorry, Danny, we can hear you loud and clear and it's absolutely beautiful. You've got a lot of questions and comments going on. Um, so we're going to let people talk to you themselves. So uh, Stephanie, I know you've got a couple of questions in addition to airfare. Give us just Top side, Have you ever seen little Anawas? No, no, no. The Anawa is not, is not here. Yeah. Well, bummer. <laughs> it, there, are there. you thinking of the, are you thinking of the, geez, Jules, what's that boar with the, uh, no, 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 it, uh, I know it's a small cow, yeah? Yes, smallest of the wild cow. Yeah, no, cow. no, no. Nope, didn't make it to this island. <laughs> well, Sorry. That's the, supposedly the, the rumor is on um, in the states that the the lowland anoa is more feared by the natives than the tigers that roam the same jungle. Okay, so, so we're on the other side of the Wallace line, and there there were no tigers here. Yeah, there, yeah. So we're on the marsupial side. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, uh, I, there's a question about airfare. That's for Cheryl to answer. Yeah, we was, I was on the line with Terry. Um, we were trying to pull stuff up as fast as possible so that we could give an accurate, accurate answer for Stephanie as opposed to just ballpark. But um, Terry's kind of working on that now. But um, Stephanie, we could get to you, we'll get with you if you have open dates. We can let you know when the, best, the cheapest is, your cities. Um, all that good stuff if you have a preferred airline. So might be something to give you a more accurate idea to work one-on-one -on -one with you, but we did want to pull the ballpark up there. But sorry, everything's, with all the, all the stuff going on, everything's a little bit slow. So our system was a little bit slow there. So sorry about that. Well, I just saw the, the deals that they're offering and those are great deals. So I was like, ooh. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's some amazing yeah. deals out there and the airlines, a lot of the airlines are being very, very flexible as far as being able to rebook without change fees and stuff as well. So it really is, a, if you're in a position to, it's in a good time to, to be shopping for resorts and airfare. So we'll, we'll do a bit of shopping around for you. Maybe chat to Terry because she's currently working on it and let her know your, your city flexibility preferred airlines all that and that's that's true for anybody else as well if there's sometimes better better routes and things like that um danny we've got some other questions ken i'm going to try and ken Bodo, i'm going to try and put you on the mic but just so while i'm finding you um at lembe how many divers per guide four okay maximum four Okay. But like if there's six divers on the boat, then it'll be two guides, for example. Okay. Ken, uh, that, I've got you yeah. unmuted, but if you want to ask anything else. Yeah, I, uh, one other question, sorry. Uh, thank you for the presentation, by the way. Um, uh, if you decided you wanted to have just uh, two people per guide, is that possible? Yes, yes, we could do that. Yes, it, sometimes it depends on our guide scheduling and how many guests. Sometimes if people wanted it, they can hire a private guide for two people or one person, yeah. Well, thank That's you, the no video's problem. great, by the way. Thank you. Okay, Sam Knighton, you're up. I think a lot of people are gonna be asking this question. So Sam, if you'd like to share your question. Um, I just asked how many days we should stay at each location and I saw the response was um, five is ideal, is that right? Well, it depends. So in, in, in Europe, we start our Passport to Paradise at, at a, as a 15-night package. If for folks from the States, uh, we don't have as much vacation time. Usually we're trying to get 
uh, we're, we're trying to depart and come back in 14 days. If we could work around an extra holiday day, Memorial Day or something like that, then you get an extra day. Um, we could do something like four, four, three, and five. We could do it however you like. Uh, but I, I like to suggest, a, you know, a, a, an extra day at the beginning and then an extra day at the end with maybe in, in Banca a day short or something like that. So just when you arrive, you have an extra day to relax and, and get into the groove. And then at the end, it doesn't feel like it's rushed. So we're often doing four, three, five, actually. Sounds good. Thank you That's very much. 12 nights in country. Yeah. Okay. All right, Ken Curtis, you should be able to, uh, you've got your hand up. You should be able to speak. Uh -oh. I am. I, I guess I can. Good morning, Danny. And I'll, I'll point out for everybody, for Danny, it's 648 in the morning. So thanks for getting up early. I'll also be a little bit of a shill for him. Um, I, I've probably done 10 trips uh, to Murex. And one of the great things is the diving is fabulous. The food is fabulous. The guides are very accommodating. Uh, everything you can ask for is probably there. Um, so, Danny, here's my very hard question for you. Why are you so accommodating? Why don't you just, you know, just leave us on our own and just, you know, make it a miserable dive trip? Why do you try to make every, it's like they don't work, know the word no. So, you know, Ken, actually, that's a good question. And, you know, I, I, I'm a graduate of Arizona State University and all the book stuff with hospitality and, and hotel management and so forth and having all that down. But I didn't learn hospitality until I moved to Indonesia and until I started working for my father-in-law and mother-in-law, Dr. Batuna. And I was amazed. They just never said, no, we could do anything. And that's really where I learned it from. It's Indonesian hospitality is what it is. And, um, you know, everybody, Ken can attest this, everybody here smiles around the whole country, not just here at, in, in Minato. And it's a genuine smile. They genuinely want to be helpful. And uh, it's, it's just the way it is. So I learned that, that here. Thank you, Daniel. And I have to say someone that works in, I, I consider us all in the hospitality, anybody in the travel industry should be consider themselves in the hospitality industry first and foremost, but it's something that a lot of resorts and companies seem to, uh, to lose sight of. So, you know, hospitality being first and foremost in, in everything that you do, is uh it shouldn't be but it's massive so kudos to you thank you uh reiko i'm sorry if i've messed your name up but um reiko reiko um and you can let me know exactly how to say your name um you are up you're on the mic hey this is michael richardson i'm here with reiko and i have to follow up with the last comments about hospitality reiko and i have traveled all over the indo-pacific region and if you've ever been to that part of the world and didn't get what you asked for, it's because you never asked somebody for it. I mean, they were, are so gracious and accommodating in that part of the world. I right, three questions for Dan. Um, okay. You showed us a, a three-day itinerary at each location. I'm assuming we could cherry pick one and spend our whole vacation there. Um, oh, second, sure. Then is this region close to Cinderwash Bay? No. No, Chenderwasi Bay would be a flight and about an 18 hour boat ride. Okay. Actually, two, you can actually, yeah, no way, you can get a second flight too and get a little bit closer, but it's two flights away, an hour flight and about a 35, 40 minute flight. So logistically from the East Coast of the US, a separate trip. Um, no, I would suggest you stopping off and spending some time in Monado first. Look, for your Raja Empat trips, Raja Empat, Chenderwasi Bay, Triton Bay, anything east of here, spend time in Monado first. Why? Because, number one, you'll get over your jet lag. Uh, it's, it, you'll, if anything, anything is missing from your luggage, you'll get that sussed out while you're here because once you're over – once you're over in Sorong, once you're taking, it, it's very difficult. Uh, third, if you have issues with your camera, if you do have a camera, you can get that sussed out. And then you get in the water for a few days diving and get over, you know, if you haven't been diving for a while, it, it, it's easier diving here and so forth. And uh, generally speaking, uh, it, 
or just because it's a more expensive place to operate. So we advise people being fully on your game before you get over there. It's an absolutely fantastic place to go. Uh, but Monado, either it's a few for, you know, half a week or a week in Lembe first or Banca or Monado first, um, and then head on over, you won't regret it. Absolutely uh, get a couple of extra days on your holiday time to do that. Thank you. And then finally, um, it hasn't been talked about in a long time, maybe because the situation has changed, but 10, 12 years ago, there was some bad press about um, some kidnappings from this part of the world against Western tourists. So what's the security situation there for foreign travelers? Uh, yeah, so those kidnappings, just to put it in, in perspective, uh, I'm not sure where you are, but that was the distance from, uh, say, New York City to Miami, Florida, that far away, um, first of all. Secondly, uh, the province of North Sulawesi, uh, you'll, see, you'll see bumper stickers, you'll see very uh, uh, pro-American, if you will, bumper stickers around town and and uh, flags around town. It's, uh, it's, just, it's just one of those things. It's definitely more um, accommodating. And the whole country, in fact, I'm, I'm in the middle of reading a book written by a U.S. diplomat who married an Indonesian, Indonesian and lived many years here. It's a great read. Sorry, I, I, I forget the name of it. Um, I can send it to Cheryl if you'd like. But Indonesia is extremely peaceful. I, yeah, there, there's nothing going on with, with security. And, you know, there was some terrorist stuff going on. Of course, you know, the Bali bomb. But that was, God, it was so, such an anomaly, such a tiny, tiny, tiny fraction of, uh, of people that make up this great country. And I, I would just, okay, I've got teenage kids. I'll let them go to the mall, no problem. Public transport, go to the, down to the mall, hang out with their friends, come back in at night, no problem at all. Never have an issue. So I hope that explains it. Yeah, it sure does. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, we've been asked to go, if you could talk a little bit more about the bonfire dive, if you could explain a little bit more about those. <laughs> Super fun. I don't even know how we started this, but basically what, what we do is we start a little bit later than a normal night dive. By the way, night dives here are fantastic, but we start a little bit later and we go out and we drop, um, we drop lamps into the water at about 30 feet, 40 feet, on, normally on a slope. And we let those lights just hang out there for a good 15 minutes and just let things settle. And animals and critters and uh, whatever starts coming up to these lights. And we go down and, and just, man, it's, it's really a lot of fun. And what's also great about a bonfire dive is, is as we move the lights uh, as the lights ascend, you, you can go around normal as on a normal night dive onto the onto the sandy bottom or the reef bottom and enjoy that, and then come back to the lights. So all kinds of stuff starts uh, starts showing up from cephalopods to worms to, to just yeah fish that are curious. Um, it's really a lot of fun and it's super easy to do, and you have the comfort of seeing the bottom right there being next to the bottom on a black water dive you're 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 in the middle of the you're in the middle of the water awesome thank you uh brand emery you have a question and let me see yeah there you uh, go there you are hi uh, two uh, two actually danny uh how many boat dives in a typical day normally three Normally okay. three boat dives on a typical day and then a night dive. So three plus a night dive. Okay. Um, but I mentioned before, we're super accommodating. It's not uncommon for us to do early morning dives, sunrise dives, and mm -hmm. get back and have breakfast and then go out again. Okay. Um, one other question unrelated to diving. You said that you were on the marsupial end of the island. Are any of those available for viewing around any of the resorts? Uh, yeah, you saw the you saw the um, 
Uh, oh, no, we didn't show you. Yes, there's a sloth. You could see a sloth. And it, we're on the marsupial side of the Wallace line. Mm -hmm. So Alfred Russell Wallace. And it, it's a cool thing to, to Google up and, and read about. Yeah, but we have sloth. We have, uh, goodness, I don't know. There's uh, Bobby Rusa. There's a couple of things. Bobby Rusa would be kind of hard to find. But sloth is super easy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you very much. Beautiful presentation. Thank you. All right, and we have one question left. Uh, you talked about drift dives for banker. Is there, a, it, do you have, is it drift diving at all three or what are the conditions for the other two locations? Lembe is, is not. Lembe is more, more often than not, we're finding uh, calm eddies to dive in, small bays to dive in. Uh, they're, they're occasionally, yes, is, is, uh, is current. Uh, look, the, the reason why this is uh, the, near the epicenter of the coral triangle and there's so much speciation with the corals is because there's lots of nutrient rich water flowing through continuously. So current is our friend and we absolutely can dive in all three locations with minimal current or occasionally no current. Um, but more often than not, at the, especially at the first two locations, it, it is about the drift diving. It is, it is, it is a drift dive. Yeah. Do you Does have any help? shore? I'm sorry. Do you have any shore diving or beach dives at each location? All three locations have shore diving. Yes. Fabulous. All right. I am sorry. We're like so. We're we're right out of out of time. But Danny, this is fantastic. A couple of things I did want to say. Um, you know, we were putting all this information together and when Danny and Julia mentioned their, um, you know, the foundations, the work they do, the different things that they do, I mean, they are massively proactive. If you're someone that wants to put your tourism dollars or support uh, operators that, that really are truly invested in their community, in their environment, in underwater conservation, I, I couldn't list. We have our resorts on our website and uh, I, I actually had to summarize because it was so much uh, the different organizations that they do. They are so proactive with, with so many different things going on truly that if you're looking to put your tourism dollars somewhere who are truly invested in their local environment above and below the water, including their people, they are absolutely fabulous. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is that Danny and Julia and, and their team have been extremely um, supportive. They're a, another resort that gets, no matter what they're going through their side of things, they get what we're getting th going through this end too. And, and they've been extremely flexible, extremely easy to work with. Uh, we have a great um, special for each of the resorts independently or the passport to paradise and it's good for travel travel through 2021 um, and they also uh, uh, donated a mini a mini version of the passport to paradise as a trip which everybody here is automatically entered to win so you'll be very excited to know about this but somebody's looking at that passport to paradise uh, you're you're already in for a possibility to go and see and danny and julia and and the whole gang with their smiling faces here so danny julia thank you so much for all your support and, and what an amazing destination um amazing itinerary on that passport to paradise and then all that you do every day very quietly under the radar uh for for your surroundings it's it's absolutely fantastic well, thank you thank, thank you, you thank you thank you everybody all right and guys the sharing folder that we have uh does have all the passport to paradise information in it it has uh, different information about the various specials so they're right there but if you want anything customized tailored to suit and then we can do the air, air for you as well, take care of anything if you wanna do any sort of add-ons or what have you. So definitely reach out to the team. But Danny, Julia, thank you so much. Thanks for getting up at the crack of dawn to be with us. Oh, you're welcome. Now I'm going for a hike. <laughs> that sounds really good. Thank you. Okay, thank you. have a good evening we'll see all. You. Bye bye. Thanks, Danny.